So, I thought I'd do this one live action. I feel there isn't really much I could put up on screen if I was editing it conventionally. And, you know, if I fuck up here, at least I could edit it to make it funny or something. Uh, but uh, it's a weird situation because I'm recording the mic on my computer and recording the visuals on my phone. So, oh boy, thinking is going to be fun. I feel nowadays there is kind of nothing more cringy than giving undying support for a living individual. Many people have tried to analyse YouTubers as a piece of analysis of media, but, you know, it's kind of a hard one, because, I mean, while, you know, reviewing things like The Big Les Show, that would be fairly easy, because, well, that's a show that multiple people have worked on, there's a kind of story, it's done like a typical thing you see on TV. You know, if you're talking about someone who reviews anime, then, you know, it's kind of a lot harder to, um... Yeah, it's a lot harder to analyse, because, um... It's a lot hard. Effectively, you're reviewing a person, which is really, really weird now that I think about it. But this brings us on to the main topic. Gigak, who is effectively the only Anituber who both puts out content frequently and whose content I watch and enjoy. So, I guess if I'm to talk about it personally, you know, when I started the channel, I kind of wanted to be like Yacht's Pro Shaw, you know, kind of um, faceless but, you know, quick fart observations, maybe some analysis. But, you know, as I figured I could do more, I tried to be more skit-based, maybe a bit like, you know, Jontron. But, uh, yeah, through, like, always, I'd say my inspiration's been Gigak. And, yeah, this sounds really cringy. But first, wee bit of a disclaimer before I get into the main chunk of it. Um, while, yes, I do believe that Gigak is the anime community's All Might, I'm not its fucking Deku. I'm just making these observations because uh, I thought I would. I'm not saying I'm the only one to have these observations, and frankly, I don't know the thoughts in that guy's head. So, um, yeah. Also, um, I'm going to be talking a lot about what he does right, so this means I'm going to have to talk about what other anti-tubers do wrong. But, because I don't want to be an arsehole about it, I'll only use my own examples, because, oh god, I have a lot of fuck-ups. So I suppose one of the things that I've got to start off with when praising Gigok is the variety of things he does. Now, he started 12 years ago, I thought it was 10, which is why I wanted to make this video as a kind of, you know, 10th anniversary celebration, but um, no, a quick Google search dashed my dreams. So he started off doing a kind of typical review format, and I think he was one of the first to do them, actually. But, uh, you know, it was a very evident zero punctuation influence to kind of snark and so on. The format has become kind of memeable in recent years. Monkey Jones' parody of it just serves to prove it. Gigax changed up his style since then, and when he does reviews, they're almost unrecognisable from his first stuff. The Anime Zone started by following the simple story, animation, characters, music, rating format, but now it feels much more like it's, you know, the first thing that comes into his head is either, you know, a joke or a point of analysis, and then, you know, each kind of section of the video is good analysis leading up to a joke, and then finishes it off with, like, you know, a satisfying thesis on the show. And, well, you know, a lot of Anitubers can't really get the structure down, like me, because with me, I think of a joke, make the joke very, very loudly, then, you know, I just spend the next 30 seconds saying, uh, oh, by the way, guys, th this show, th this show's good, go, go watch it. It helps that Gigak's also been both in the anime and internet communities for a decent period of time, because memes, anime jargon, and anime jargon used as memes, or memes used as anime jargon, is something that would seem like a no-brainer when making anime content on the internet, but, you know, once again, myself included, Others don't really, you know, know how to seamlessly put in kind of references in the middle of <laughs> I kind of respect how Geek, you know, does his jokes, because, um, with, uh, stuff like Mad CG, he introduces it in one video, kind of puts it in at various intervals throughout the video, but not enough for it to become stale. Then, you know, he kind of referenced it in other videos, and then even gave it a bit of I'd say a send-off, but, you know, he's kind of referenced it since. But he made, you know, a video on anime CG. It's actually quite insightful, considering, well, it started off as a quick fire observation. I was meant to be talking about the variety of his content, and instead went into talking about the structure of his content. Oh, boy, Mr. Consistent right here. And while, well, yes, credit should go to Buckershift for editing, I'm, you know, it's quite a bold move for Gigak not just to be a voice narrating behind a microphone. 
Sometimes he does like small skits in the middle of videos, sometimes he does videos which are full skits, and you know, sometimes uh, recently he's actually started doing videos in front of green screens. See what I did there? I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. And I credit the skits because instead of being Gigix's typical comedic analysis, it's instead analytical comedy. Which, yeah, quite, quite bold. I guess one more thing I want to talk about, although I doubt I'll be able to talk about it very well, is kind of a reflection of Gigic as a person. Or at least what he shows on the internet, because as viewers we don't know, you know, what he's like, and frankly, I, I don't think we should. So, he's a guy who isn't a stranger to honesty, or non-conformity of the rest of Anitube. For example, while a lot of people, once again, myself included, uh, like shit on SAO, because let's face it, it's fucking easy. He can only really references it when he has to, and even then he keeps the view he's had since before the period where everyone got shit tons of views from complaining about it. Now, I don't share those views of him, but you know, but I'm impressed he's honest. Even when there's controversy, like with the Goblin Slayer shitstorm that happened at the end of last year, Gook did the only thing that a true enlightened man would do. Make a shit post about it. Now, I'm, I'm not very well acquainted with Goblin Slayer, apart from the content of the first episode, I'm pretty sure everyone is at this point. I'm, you know, quite glad he took this non-partisan stance, and, well, in a funny way as well. He's really done rants as of recent, but even then, you know, he offers his own opinion when he's giving his opinion, not, this is fact, praise of me, the gospel. It's kind of, well, yeah, it's just, this is my opinion, you know, here it is feel free to say anything else. It goes a long way, especially on the internet, because fuck it, it's a rarity. Gigguk may have gained millions of subs, but frankly, he's always felt kind of genuine. He's not really here to give us an English lecture, he's just kind of here to make the videos he wants to make, with the exception of anime and minutes, he, he says that's really draining. He makes content he wants to make with the depth or lack thereof that he wants. And while I've been rambling for the past probably too long, we can all appreciate his biggest achievement. Revolutionising the waifu debate. Okay, his connoisseur-like take on many a waifu is entertaining, but that's not the point I want to end on. While YouTube has seen many a creator grow before losing all their goodwill and fading into either obscurity or stagnation, Gigguk has been here for 12 years, with his quality improving leaps and bounds since he started, but with him remaining, or at least I believe he remained, to be the same person who uploaded the first anime with his own review back in 2007. So, if I had to sum it up, Gigguk is frankly more than we deserve. Na, 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 na. You're the